All right, Team Bay, y'all already know the drill. I'm back with another video. And today's video is kind of cute. Y'all know I'm back home. I'm off tour. Today is my one of my sister, my little sister's really good friend, uh, Nakara. It's her birthday. So my sister asked me to go to the birthday dinner with her. And I thought it would be cute because it's been a long time since me and her have just hung out like as sisters. So I'm excited to document it right now. I got on my shirt, but I don't have my shorts on yet. I'm about to do my makeup. So I'm going to show y'all how I do my little light beat or whatever <laughs> okay y'all so i'm in my bathroom so i'm about to show y'all how i do my light beat so first i go in and i make sure that my brows are all the way like up and i'm trying to hopefully y'all can see this really good my ring light is hella big i need to get a smaller one that like goes around my camera but so i just brush my eyebrows up and make sure that they're all the way like brushed out looking good and i just go in real quick and i feel like i've done this on here before but I just go in real quick and sorry I'm looking in the mirror too but I just go in really quickly and outline the brow you see how easy it actually is pretty easy like once you get the hang of it then I do the other side just to make sure that it's kind of like as identical as it can be now my brows are kind of like two different shapes I have a hard art on this eyebrow that I'm doing right now so sometimes it's hard to make them look the same but you see, obviously, this one, it just always looks higher than the other one. There's nothing I could do about it. Anyways, then I just go and I fill in. So, you just want to fill in. You want it to look hair-like. Like, for me, I don't really like for my brows to look, like, too dark or just unrealistic, like, one thing. So, I'll come back. I'll show y'all when they done. Brows is done. I'm feeling okay about it, but whatever. All right, cool. So we're gonna go in with our Smashbox Tinted Moisturizer. This is my favorite. A friend of mine put me on to this, and so ever since then, I've kind of been using it. A little goes a long way, is what she used to tell me. I like to make sure that my sponge is nice and wet. I know it looks dirty, but I did clean it, y'all. Please, no worries. And so you just kind of go in. And you just want to make sure that it's like properly blended. I'm doing this thing now where like ever since I turned 28, I feel like I should at least go out. If I'm going somewhere, it doesn't matter. Like if it's a dinner, whatever it is, I should make sure that I look presentable. My face is done or somewhat done. And you know, cause you never know like what you're going to do or like who you're going to run into. You know what I'm saying? Like it could be somebody who's trying to work with me. It could be somebody, you know, who trying to marry me child please now that i really think i'm gonna meet my husband <laughs> please anywho no i just feel like it's important to always make sure that you have a face done you know what i mean or just looking somewhat presentable um okay so i feel like it's pretty it's pretty much blended um this lighting always in my bathroom it always makes my face look weird it makes it look like the Tinted moisturizer doesn't match my skin, but I promise y'all in the mirror it looks good. So I'm gonna finish up just blending my foundation. I'll come back and show y'all the final result. So then I go in with my Laura Mercer setting powder because sometimes with the tinted moisturizer, uh, it can make you look like oily. So I kind of like to go up underneath my eyes just so I don't look like freaking oily. So I'll sit this on my eyes and then I put it like just where my picture points are my forehead my nose my chin and right above my lip and so this is how it'll look i know this side looks brighter than this side but it's, it's the same amount of product so now i need to go get my eyeshadow palettes i'll do my eyeshadow while this sets and then i'll brush this off when i'm done all right y'all so i'm using my modern renaissance palette from 2016 i need to get a new palette for sure but basically i go in with the raw sienna color and so this is just what i use for the base of my eye i kind of like to do a color that is close to my natural color before i start getting into the actual eyeshadow color that i'm gonna do but i think i'm gonna try to do something like a little dark a little smoky because I'm wearing black and I'm wearing silver. So something silver is something maybe a little bit gray, but like not too much gray. We're going to figure it out as we go. But for now, let's get this all blended out. 
Y'all see, I still got my satin stuff up underneath. This face is probably the most low maintenance face that you ever gonna see. I don't really be trying to do too, 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 too much. So like, for example, when I say I'm gonna use a dark color, I'll do, I'll mix like a gold, well not goldish, cause my shirt is silver, but I'll mix kind of like, okay, for example. So it's really between these two colors. So I'm trying to see the creep color for me it's like this like it's black so let's swatch it this is how it looks swatched so i think really if i do this it's gonna have to be like a tap and another tap of the brush and then you want to go in the crease of your eye great thing for me is like low-key the creases everybody who does my makeup be like oh the creases of your eye is so perfect and i'm like really they're like yeah like you start in the crease and you just make sure that it's like super blended in there and then you kind of want to work your way down to the rest of the eye um so right now i'm feeling like eh, i'm feeling like it's okay but i'll come back and show y'all the final look period hey so i'm not, actually not mad at this um so i'm gonna go in with this half baked color and i like to just hit like my brow bone a little bit like just a little it's like a little tiny highlight, so boom, and I go in the corner right here, boom, and then I kind of extend that, and then I just blend it out. So that's really kind of it for the eyes for me. I might add a little something later if I'm feeling that, but just based off of how it's looking, I don't really want it to be like too, too much like highlight on my eye. So now we're gonna brush all of this setting powder off. And then we're gonna do blush. So I use this brush. These were from Doja Cat. She did like a collab or something with somebody. Um, but I just brush up underneath my eye. And as you can see, like it definitely set in so it won't be so shiny looking. Cause sometimes when I would do my tinted moisturizer, it would look shiny. So it won't be so shiny, um, but this is it. Let me find some blush, y'all. Y'all about to gag, but the only blush that I could find <laughs> is actually lipstick. So here's the thing. I like cream blush only. I don't have any cream blush. When we was on tour, I was using a girl's blush. So here you go. I know it. Oh, I'm gonna put it right on my cheeks. And depending on how this looks, I know this looks crazy. Depending on how this come out, I'm gonna put some on my nose. I'm gonna wet this brush a little bit though. I'm gonna spray it with some water. It's already cream blush. I just don't want it to be too dry looking. So. I feel like water makes everything blend better. If you haven't noticed, I love my beauty blender being wet. There's a lot of little things. But as y'all can see, the blush kind of, and, and let me tell y'all something. I never used to wear blush. I didn't really understand the purpose. But then once I actually started like really, really getting into it, I'm like, okay, I get it. Like it brings a color and aliveness to your face. But um, just the foundation alone doesn't do you know so i'm blending in and then if i feel like i need a little bit more blush i'm gonna do more so let me see which i think a little bit more i think a little bit more brie always tell me more blush like uh whenever we was getting ready for our shows i was like brie what you think about my makeup she's like i think you could use a little bit more blush so this is delta this is going in the makeup bag Sure. You see how it just added some color to me? Add a color. So I'll come back when my highlight is done and we doing the final look. This is the final look. I'm just about to, oh, so I know y'all want to know Anastasia Glow Kit. Pretty much all my makeup is like from 2016. I'm going to do another video and I'll update my makeup bag soon. Uh, that would be fun. But this is the Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just going to go in up underneath. Because I don't like bottom liner. But you still kind of want something at the bottom. So I just go in and just make sure that bottom liner is like totally popping. And that's it. That's the end of this. So my sister is here. I'm about to do my hair. I'll come back and I'll show you all my final look when I get that like my outfit and everything. So I'll show you the final look when it's done. <laughs> okay y'all, so I did my hair. I did my baby hair, it's cute. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something. It's kind of, it might be a little too late to fix it, but I'm kind of feeling like my ponytail is not in the middle of the street, it's on the side. So. <laughs> well you should fix it. I so. Side no, well it's not like a side ponytail though. Oh, it's fine. Okay look, here's my sister. She came to pick me up, I'm going on a date. Yeah, so this is pretty exciting for me. Hey, why are you gonna put on some jeans instead of the shorts? 
kind of insane? Well, well, because I have a jacket. Okay, y'all. So, my sister actually informed me that this was more of a dressy event than I thought. So, so I changed my outfit. I have on, like, these jeans. And they have, like, crystals on them. And I'm doing, like, these, uh, like, Giuseppe heels that are going to be really cute. And I'm doing a denim Dior saddlebag. So, I think it's going to be really, really cute. And now we are about to head out. So, I'll let y'all know, you know, what's popping when we get there. So we at the restaurant, we at High Society. Um, first off, this is the full look. I don't think I showed you guys, but I just opted for the denim with the heels. We're about to walk in and see what it's giving. I'm hoping the food is good. I'm really hungry. My sister's still looking for a car key so she could lock her car and we could go because she is taking me on a date, y'all. She did come and pick me up, so she got to lock the car and all of that. But we're about to walk in and see what it's giving. All right, lemon drops are here. Now, this is kind of pulpy. I'm really confused about this. Yeah, me too, because we should have said strawberry. Let's see. Let me try it. All right, y'all. So here I go. I'm about to try it. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah. It's pretty good. All right, y'all. So I got my food. I messed up the presentation, but I got baby lamb lollipops. And then I got mashed potatoes, but obviously they're not here. They're empty table. Hopefully, well, it's good because I already tried a piece. So, yeah, it's good. All right, mashed potatoes looking good. It's good for y'all. I love it. Ow, wow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck it up, y'all. One, two, three, cheers. All right, y'all. We back at home. Now, let me tell y'all something. It actually is 2.05, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all. We actually got a boot, but we got it off, though. But we got a boot, so that was what held us up. I mean, I think this was a cute little sister day. Y'all see I took my ponytail down. Y'all know how I be when you got box braids. Well, not box braids, but Nala's braids. You know, the ponytail be hurting. Anyways, I feel like we had a good night. We did. We had a great night. Thank you for the day. This was so cute. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, it was so cute and fun. And I hate that we got that Yeah. Food. I'm probably going to um, head back in tomorrow with y'all. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, y'all. So, I ended this vlog last night, and I can't really remember what I was saying, but today, I am about to get some oysters. I'm so excited. So, let's see what's getting. So, y'all, the fact that I, like, walked in the wrong place is actually kind of great. Look at what I got on my feet, y'all. I don't even be caring. I just do what I want to do. Anyways, I'm going to try this plate. It kind of went viral like a few little months ago. This girl ordered 30 oysters or you 40 stop oysters. At I'm about to see what it's given right now. Okay, y'all. So the reason that I wanted to come eat by myself is because I've been on tours with my sister yesterday. I feel like I haven't really had like a moment at a restaurant or anything. Kind of just by myself. So I just wanted to come and kind of eat alone and just vibe alone. So come back and show y'all like my plate, my drink, what I ordered and all that stuff. All right, y'all. So here's my plate. I got a side Caesar with some oysters. Let's see how this is. So actually, my food is really good. I'm super loving this salad. I love the oysters, so I'm about to eat, and I'm gonna show y'all my plate if there's anything left when I get it. Okay, y'all, so my food was so good that I was embarrassed to show y'all the plate because that's how bad I killed it. But I got a Caesar salad, and I got six oysters Rockefeller for $26. So that was actually not bad. Check them out, they're in Atlanta, they're called Fontaine's. Now I'm about to call my sister to see if I could come over there and see my niece if she up by me. So let me get in my car to try. Okay, y'all, so I called my sister, and she told me that her and my niece are still over there knocked out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and head home. I mean, at least I had a good meal on my stomach. I'm about to just head back to my house. I'm gonna chill, decompress. I'll probably do a little bit of work, and um, I'll read you back in just a few seconds. Okay, y'all, so I stopped at Family Dollar because I needed a few toiletries. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Too, Thank you. Okay, so I stopped the Family Dollar because I needed a few things. I needed some floss sticks. Y'all know I do not play about my oral hygiene. It gets, it get like that. It get real serious. So I'm looking for my floss sticks, my usual floss sticks, and some contact solutions. So hopefully y'all could find that. And it's so funny because at the other Family Dollar I went to, they had the floss sticks that I use, but then they had and they had no solution. So now I'm in here and it seems like they have the solution that I use, but no floss sticks. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna get these pickers. 
I don't know, pickers, I hope y'all actually are good because I kind of have never used y'all before. And then now I'm about to see about contact solution. It's always so tough. Is it tough to y'all like to find stuff in Family Dollar like for your eyes and stuff? Get in the comments and let me know like y'all have trouble in these type of stores. Oh, here it goes right here. Mm -hmm. Boom, found it. All right, let's go check it out. Y'all, it's my bear. Oh, as y'all can see, I took my braids out. But look, look, it's Boo. Say hi, Boo. She want to eat. She she hungry for real. She, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking like that? Why are you looking like that? She see this. Here, you want to grab her? She don't want to. She just want the little thing. All right, y'all. This the end. Boo, tell them, make sure they like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification okay. on the top. Yeah. Oh, Team Bay, we love y'all. Say we love you. Say bye. Say bye-bye.